to the game. Elijah all right, will be out, obviously. Charles, questionable. Debo, questionable. Um, Burford, questionable. Trent Williams, questionable. Go ahead. What happened with Trent? He was having back spasms. It popped up this morning. Yes. Yeah. McCaffrey was full go? Yes. Yep. Eric, come through the week. I had a good week. Um, I know he spoke highly, how he's been feeling, and um, he's passed the eye test from our, our standpoint, so excited to see him this weekend. As far as your um, IR designations to return, I think you've used six so far. How strategic do you have to be with these these remaining two? I mean, would you want to have, you know, one still to go by the say the end of the month or you know as as, as the playoffs begin? Yeah, I mean, you're allowed eight, so that's the biggest thing, and um, I, mean, I think we need to use them by then, you know, because playoffs aren't four weeks long, so. Um, I think we have two more also. I'm not exactly sure on that, um, but that's the stuff that goes all into it. You know, that's why we didn't decide to do it with Eric. Um, even though it was a long time ago, we just weren't sure how many we'd have at the end of the year. And uh, we feel pretty good, six games left where we're at. Um, but we'll make that a, a decision on Elijah, most likely in the next 24 hours. Uh, you, you've known Trent for over a decade. Has, has he had back issues in the past? I don't know him having many. I mean, I. I'm not too concerned about it. I asked Chris if he was all right. He said that's just big guy problems. Um, Lynch told me he used to get them sometimes. You know, they're, you usually have them on game day. That's a big deal. So, so we had him today, spend the day resting and stuff and expecting to be all right. But um, hope that doesn't happen on Sunday. How much did Debo do today? Um, not much. Yeah, not much. In practice yesterday after his limited Wednesday, did he have some? Is that a setback or just a no, there was no setback. Just when you have a deep thigh bruise, you kind of have an idea how it's going to be. And uh, just hasn't been as good as we've ex we're expecting by now. Uh, so we're expecting to be able to go full by now and uh, wasn't able to. So that's why there's some concern. Well, do you have any indication if it's getting close to opening that window for Javon Kinlock? I do believe it's getting close. Like any, any week now? It could be any week now. Very close to that. What, do you, what stands out to you kind of in the time you've spent with him? Um, and has, is, do you think of him as like a culture carrier for this franchise? Um, yeah, I do. I mean, it's when he first got here, it was funny because we turn on our film and show cut ups and stuff. And he had absolutely no swag. His hair didn't show out his helmet. The way he wore his socks, his wristbands, his gloves. 85 just didn't look quite the same. And then you watch him the next year when he's breaking records. and. He wears his socks much cooler, his gloves, everything. He's definitely a different swagger. Um, he was a little qu more quiet at first. He's always been George, but uh, he was a lot more quiet back then, and that broke out a lot the second year. Um, but he's been great. He's always upbeat. He's always the same. Probably the most positive guy we have on our team. Um, you know, I, I get on him for that sometimes. It's not everything is perfect, um, but that's how he lives his life, and uh, that's why everyone likes having him around. little too saccharine for you? I mean, if we're having a bad practice, sometimes I don't think just cheering everybody on is always the right thing. <laughs> but that's George, so it's hard to get mad at him for it. About Jacob Eason, what caught your eye with him? Um, I mean, just mainly our our pro department, our scouts out there looking for all of what's available. And, you know, last time I studied him was coming out of college, and um, I remember very talented arm, um, just how he can throw it, the velocity he has with it. And um, he's up there with just in terms of throwers. Um, haven't got to see him play a lot of football and stuff in the league. Um, but our guys liked the, the tape that he had had. And I remember the type of thrower he was. So it's good to bring him in here and get a look here these last few weeks. What's your communication like with D'Amico as far as, say, with Mooney? You know, are you guys going to shadow a certain receiver one week? or just play sides, how often do you guys, or how much do you guys go back and forth on you know, him sharing his ideas with you and you you know, giving him the go ahead or veto power or whatever? I'm um, always, I mean, um, in the mornings um, at 
before meetings, um, and then at night, usually before I leave, we usually check in with each other, just see where we're at. But um, D'Amico knows how I see football, and I know how he does, so um, we don't have to sit there and check on everything. Um, usually, if there's something that's going to change, we, we discuss it with each other. Um, I don't think D'Amico's got to look to me for permission or anything. Yeah, I trust D'Amico and what he does, but we always bounce things off of each other because we respect each other in that way. And um, so it's a good, real good working relationship. Uh, I'm sorry, did, did, did Eason do any 2 0 work this week? Or was that uh, Brock Birdie? Uh, mainly Brock. You know, we, we give um, Jay a couple reps, um, but mostly Brock. And responded this week in practice, you know, with some other guys kind of coming in and out um, over the week, sort of in the, the steady fixture in practice. Uh, Ayuk, uh, he's been great. I mean, he's been as consistent all year as anyone on our team, um, you know, and not only just with health, but how he's approached each day. So um, it's been real nice with him, especially at that exposition. Uh, you always know he's there. Um, we've had to move guys around a lot. He's really the only guy who doesn't change positions that much. Um, so he's been steady and been a guy we've been relying on all year. All right, thanks, guys.